Uh, yes, it's been a great year for movies in general and for British films in particular. The award for best a British film is made in honour of Alexander Corder. And being British, that's not an excuse for our American friends in the audience to suddenly whip out their blackberries and check out the current exchange rate, which I believe at the minute is about one British film equaling 2.75 Americans. <laughs> To present this award, and it gives me an odd frisson of pleasure to be able to say this, uh, he is perhaps the globe's greatest ever action hero, one who is still making movies and hasn't taken the easy option of becoming the governor of California. Will you please welcome the one and only Sylvester Stallone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It truly is a pleasure to be here to present an award for the best British film. To me, the British film industry has always produced the best of the best, and that's the truth. And with your nation's growing talent, it's only going to continue to get better, and the art form is going to go to brand new heights. You are all, and I mean this seriously, fantastic filmmakers, really. Really, you are. The nominees for the best film this year are... Atonement. More, they bring in the description. Francis Bernhardt is going to give you the background. He's about as likely to do that as buy shares in Marks and Spencers, wouldn't you agree? This isn't very good. I make a cocktail with crushed ice, rum and melted dark chocolate. It's absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> Control. Eastern Promises. Now I'm going to do his teeth and cut off his fingers. You might want to leave a room. This is England. Now then, if I can just have that for a second. Just let me have that just for a second, oh, sweetheart. Oh, I'll okay. just have that for oh, a second. Yeah. Mum, shall I just? Yeah. I'll just put that down there. The Bourne Ultimatum. Hello? Give me that five to seven one. Give me, I need that phone. I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm about to tell you. What the hell's going on? <laughs> and the winner is... This is England. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, thank you to BAFTA. Um, thanks to so many people, I'm going to miss them out, but um, firstly, Rob and, Rob, the late Rob Mitchell and Steve Beckett for setting up such a great company as Warp. We, you know, thank you. Um, we have some great execs on this film. Um, Will and Danny at Optimum, Tessa and Peter at Film 4, Hugo at Screen Yorkshire, everyone at the UK Film Council, especially the, the New Cinema Fund, EM Media, and uh, the best crew ever. And uh, this is for you. All right, thank you. Hey. Sure, this is uh, it's the third time I've um, been nominated, and the previous two times 
I took a regime on after Christmas, press-ups, sit-ups, <laughs> and uh, that sort of thing, to get myself in shape in case I won. And this year I gave up uh, on that idea. <laughs> And I uh, just thought, I'm going to go with the man boobs this year. And, uh, and it's turned my look around, which is fantastic. Um, I am... Uh, for Tomo, who, the, the young boy in the film, um, thank you. I mean, I, I was uh, quite a naughty boy um, at, at his age. And my life turned around over 20 years and was a very steady progression. And I took him from a worse place than I'd ever been in, and he turned his own life around in six weeks making this film, so I want to dedicate it to him, and I'm going to be a dad baby. <laughs> <laughs>